this is the simplest um, saw head raising system I could ever imagine. I built a band. You see the band that opens up. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand on the camera. I'm standing back here, it's all right. But I have a spring. The spring's actually from a mower deck that I had. I salvaged it. And I put a belt on the outside, a rubber belt on the outside, and I put a piece of skateboard tape on the inside. And it's not wearing at all. It seems to be gripping pretty well. So I've gone from a 16, no, a 14 tooth sprocket in here with a number 40 chain to a 36 tooth sprocket out here. And then I have a 16 tooth sprocket inside. And I think I figured out I have to have a 40 tooth sprocket out here. And that gives me two turns of this handle, two turns to an inch. So I can turn that and it goes exactly two turns to an inch up or down. Either way, it doesn't matter, obviously. That doesn't change. I have a three quarter inch shaft that runs side end to end. The mistake that I made is I didn't clock these small sprockets exactly the same. This one is a welded it on. Didn't think it would make a difference. Of course, they're on a, on a key. So if this goes on the key right now, this is about a half a tooth backwards. So this tight, this chain is fairly tight and the other chain is a little sloppy. I've taken the slack out of the backside. Makes no difference, but it, uh, I have lots of adjustments. Maybe I'm, um, might be too fussy, but if I were to do it all over again, I'd use a heavier shaft, probably a one inch, because there seems to be a lot of flex in it. And I might not have had to put that center steady bearing in it. And uh, these are 14 tooth sprockets as well. And that's just an idler, but it's effortless to lift. And matter of fact, it's a little fast going down. You have to uh, pay attention to it or else it'll spin out of your hand just because of the weight of the, of the saw head. Also, the brake will stop it instantly, but uh, it'll blow right past your mark. So if you have a, your pointer, trying to get a shot of that pointer, there's a pointer there. That's my, my bottom cut is three quarters of an inch. So you will, you're at 18 and you just open the handle, it'll just blow right past your 16 inch, whatever you need to stop it at. So. Anyway, somebody asked to see how this, these chains are rooted. Super simple. Princess Auto. I think I ordered two, um, there's two kits online.